Well, my uncle's the only one who started it all, really. After about a year or two, when I was around probably 11, maybe 12, I had second thoughts about boxing, right? I was thinking, like, maybe, uh, maybe I didn't want to do this. I was being lazy. Uh, and then my uncle, he said, hey, get up, we're going to practice. He would wake me up early mornings to go run, knock on my door, bang on the door, wake me up, open my room, like, shake me, wake me up, we'd get out, go run every morning. He would push me. Like, we do 10 laps, he said 15, 20 laps. He would push me a lot, changed my mind. When I was younger, I remember I'd come home from school, and I'd see my dad, uh, he'd be watching TV. That's all I remember, watching TV. I had pictures of him, like, he was like a real like, buff dude. He left around the age of, I think I was six. I remember like bits and pieces, and um, uh, it's emotional talking about it. It's hard talking about it. Do you mind talking about it? Yeah, I don't mind, but it's just... I don't really think about it. Uh, can I get a second? All right. I remember they used to fight a lot, my mom and my dad. They used to fight a lot. And then I always see my mom, she'd be uh, always um, struggling like with something. You know? It doesn't matter what it was, but struggling. And I hated her seeing her struggle. I think like I have to do good in boxing. I have to like... Exceed and do so much. I don't want her to struggle anymore. I just want to see her happy. Her smile. She would do anything for me. Like anything. She would give everything for me. I don't know. I'm just like a different person in the ring. This one time, like a really intense sparring match, and I kind of blacked out from it. I remember what happened. And my uh, my uncle, he told me, "Hey, your face is red." Like he said, it was red, like the color red. I was like, really? And I gave the kid a concussion that day. Yeah. Right now, I'm number one in the US and probably second in the world in my youth division and weight. I want to go to the Olympics. I think I got a good chance, a realistic chance. I've been training all my life for it. I just That's what I strive for every day. That's all I think about to be on that pedestal and turn pro and become a world champion. I don't know, I just think I just have to win. I can't I can't be beaten. I don't wanna I don't wanna end the fight with my hand down.